Hi again, it's Richard. It's um, Saturday the 20th of June 2009. Last weekend, after recording the last video, I set about taking out all the exhaust system and the fuel system. Obviously, you can see the remains of the, uh, the fuel tank here, which is uh, obviously all out and empty now. I run the uh, car basically empty anyway, because there wasn't a lot of petrol in when I got it, and just sort of carried on moving it around as we required, so it's nice and light. So, uh, not too bad, it's a um, reasonable sized tank, I haven't chucked that away yet because in case it, I want to use the centre for something else. The exhaust system has all gone to the scrapyard, I've weighed all the items um, as I mentioned I started doing in the last video. Uh, just a, a few or kilos here and there. <clears throat> Managed to weigh the motor, um, 75 kilograms I believe it was in the end. Um, and what I'm also doing at the moment, I've uh, managed to get over some metal sheeting which I'm going to attempt to make into, start the, making into an adapter plate today. Basically, it's about 5mm thick steel plate. Um, prefer using steel because I can weld steel and I've never welded an alley before. Haven't got the equipment for it. What I've also done is I've given the coupler, or the bits and pieces of the coupler, to a local engineering firm, along with a pulley to try and mount in the middle. Um, to try and use possibly as an alternator. Um, pulley to try and obviously charge a normal battery. Uh, I've just given this um, bit still a bit of a light spray of white so I'm going to put the perspex sheet over it to cut out the initial notch for the drive shaft then once I've got that done drop the bell housing onto the plate try and uh, mark up where the main holes have got to go. Um, yeah so hopefully it'll be okay. Um, obviously the other sort of plate is what I'm going to attempt to use to put on the bottom of this motor base here. A bit bigger than I need at the moment. I've uh, basically cut it over side for now in case I make a mistake with the first one. And obviously use what I need to for the um, the base of this motor here. Um, not much else done in the car at the moment, which is sort of sitting over there in the other garage. Just really waiting to get the motor um, sort of installed and coupled up. They really all hinges on getting it all to uh, run first of all. And sort of see how it goes from there. I've um, got rid of a few things, including the exhaust and a few other bits and pieces that I know I won't need. So I'll cut the cat off there, which is um, worth a bit more money. So I'll make a point of that when he scraps his next car. So things are sort of turning on at the moment. Hopefully to um, get something done with the adapter plate. If I can get the this uh, bell housing made, then maybe start on the the motor mounting plate at the bottom there. I would like to give some sort of adjustment, longitudinally, sideways, and whatever. So before I um, commit myself. So basically I'd like to get the, the right angle plate made up with the stabilizers on it and then see how the, uh, how the motor sits in relation to it and see what adjustment I need. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to be cutting out the actual profile of the bell housing, the same sort of shape as that now, because where I'm going to be having my L shape, I'm going to need somewhere, um, basically square bit of plate on the bell housing side that can actually come down onto a gusset. So basically, if I, if I make this plate the same profile as the actual bell housing, uh, and cut it right down to the edge of the bolts, and obviously I've got nothing to mount part of the gutted to. So we'll see what happens. Um, see how I'll get another next couple of hours. Hopefully, I'll get this bit cut out. I'm going to have to chain drill it to um, get that initial sort of arc cut to, so the um, plate can go on. Basically, I'm going to lay that, lay this first bit of sheet on here like that try and cut that arc out initially and go from there. So let's see how I get another next cut of ads. Bye for now.